Hey, welcome back for part four of my Disney villain series. We've done Maleficent, we've done the Evil Queen, we've done Ursula, and now it is time for a 500 piece Cruella de Vil puzzle. She is so glamorous and so evil. Um, I'm really excited to do this puzzle here of her big old car crash. So, um, so far I've had mixed results from this puzzle set. The first two were pretty straightforward and easy but uh, Ursula gave me some trouble. If you haven't seen those videos, be sure to go check them out. But I'm really excited to see what Cruella de Vil has in store for me. I'm gonna be doing a time lapse and then my puzzle review at the end. So if you wanna skip ahead, I've got chapters below, but let's get this box open. Now, in this Seco Disney villain set, they kind of just had five bags that didn't have any labels on them. I had to do some guessing. Uh, which puzzle is which, but since the two, only two puzzles I've done are left, one is a 750 piece and one is 500, I can pretty much tell this is the one I'm looking for since today we're doing the 500 piece Cruella puzzle. If you want to see me do this next one, be sure to subscribe so you can check out when I finish the set. All right, let's get to the time lapse. Hey friends, what'd you think? This one was my favorite one in the series. They've kind of just been getting better and better as I've been going through the Seco Disney Villains series. Um, and this one was top notch. My favorite thing about it was I didn't know how much was actually in this picture until I got my hands in and started putting the puzzle together. Yes, we know it's a Disney villain series, so of course Cruella de Vil is featured very prominently, but there's also six little Dalmatians. See if you can find the hidden one. Um, as well as a ton of other Disney Easter eggs if you're a fan of the 101 Dalmatians movie. Um, we've got music sheets, because Pongo's dad likes to play piano. Uh, we've got the fedora hat, even uh, feather dusters, and like an ink pen, um, which I thought were all pretty neat to have included in there. So um, like the other puzzles in this series, there came a point in time where I kind of had to like brute force my way through the dark pieces. I lined up everything with their shapes and just tried piece and piece and piece until I got it. Um, but that wasn't the majority of this puzzle, <coughs> unlike Ursula. Um, so it was actually like definitely won my prize for best Disney villain in the set. So I have one more puzzle to do from this set. It's this guy in the middle, 750, with a host of villains. So please subscribe so you can be sure to uh, see that puzzle when it comes out. And um, there are some pros and cons to working your way through a puzzle series set. Pro number one, you don't have to think too hard about which puzzle's next. After I buy this guy, I like pretty much have my next five puzzles figured out. The con is, I have my next five puzzles figured out. So um, by now I'm kind of getting a little sick of this color palette, but I am not a quitter. I am committed and I am going to do this last puzzle in the middle and I'm gonna do it awesome. So don't miss it. But I am already thinking about what my next puzzle is gonna be. And I'd love it if you could help me figure it out. 
So two choices. Please vote in the comments so you can help me pick what my next, next puzzle is going to be. Choice number one, we have Glitter Unicorn, 500 pieces by Buffalo. Choice number one. Choice number two, we have thousand piece Lego minifigure faces puzzle. I think one of um, our viewers has done this one before. Um, let me know which one you want to see me tackle. I'm excited to have you help me figure it out and I'll see you over at the next video. Bye.